On behalf of St. Louis Alliance Reentry and our sponsors, which includes Arches, St. Louis City Government, St. Louis County Government, the Lutheran Foundation, Washington University, and St. Louis Community College, I'd like to welcome all of you this morning to the 2015 Star Community Summit. As I noted, the theme for 2014 was housing and the assistance and the resources that were needed for that. The theme for 2015 is we move from home to hearth. And we will look at this year, the role of the family and the challenges to family re reunification. Between 66 and 92 percent of people um, returning home from prison rely substantially on family members for tangible needs such as housing, clothing, food, child care, transportation, um, financial employment assistance, emotional support, support with addictions, support with child care. Um, when support is positive, we know um, and sustained, we know that people do better um, in the community. Um, but relationships are complicated, as we all know, and when they're stressed, um, they beca can become maladaptive and dysfunctional. One of our contacts there and said, for this particular conference, we really need somebody that understands community engagement. And not only that community engagement is important, but the mechanics of community engagement. Somebody that walks it, he lives it, and he breathes it, and he really gets it. And they said, wait a minute, we have the perfect person for you, Mr. Eugene Schneeberg. And when I looked at his title, I said, well, this guy has to know something about creating partnerships, strengthening partnerships, and maintaining those relationships. Uh, I, the home I was actually raised in used to be a Catholic orphanage, and it was called the Wait House. And it wasn't until I was older that I realized that WAIT was an acronym, W-A-I-T-T, -T, which stands for we're all in this together. And I think that, uh, that term really um, echoes and, and reinforces the reason why we're here today, that in order to be effective in this work, it requires true collaboration across government and non-governmental organizations. And um, so now from my viewpoint as the director of the Center for Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnerships at the Department of Justice, I can see um, how important it collaborations are like STAR. And really, I've been crisscrossed this country and met with advocates and practitioners and researchers. And the, the true um, collaboration you all have here and the level of expertise that you have here is, is truly unique and truly uh, remarkable. And I look forward to going back to Washington and sharing with my colleagues from the Federal Reentry Council uh, about the work you're doing here.